everybody. Welcome to the first ever Wrestling Observer Shoot DVD. We're here today with one of the legendary performers in the history of pro wrestling. Abdul the Butcher is here with us today. And Abdullah, how you doing? I'd probably die in the ring. But if I die in the ring, it's got to be a packed house. Sure. It'd be a half of a house. After it starts riding, they went into the ditch or something. And Carlos Colon says... To uh, Javika, I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill him. Right? I'm the one who started hardcore. The she could go up there and do his little his little routine sure. with his little thing, stuff like that. But I'm the one who started with the forks and this and the bottles, eating glass. The fork. Like of all the things that you could use, what what was it about the fork? And whenever you came to town, there was always going to be a near riot. Because I am a professional. That's right. You ate a lot of strange things in your career. You know what? We all eat a lot of things that we shouldn't be eating. And you know what I mean. That is true. I'm not in the Hall of Fame either. You're not in the Hall of Fame. And 49 were... years! Have they ever talked to you about that? They never talked to me about it. They put Ernie Ladd, they put all these guys in there, and I've been in the business longer than all of them. And I'm still around, I'm still here. And I'm going to be here. When they didn't put Little Richard in the Hall of Fame, and when they finally put him in, he looked at him, the only thing he said was this, you're waiting for the best. That's why I'm in the Hall of Fame. But they have to put me in the Hall of Fame. They have to put me in there. I don't care how long it takes, but I'm going to walk in the Hall of Fame, even if I have to make my own Hall of Fame. Here we are at the world-famous Abdul the Butcher, House of Ribs and Chinese food. Fine establishment. I head in here in a second and get some ribs. I'm starving and angry. Oh, we went all the way over there. Yeah. Our words goes in. Have you tried to get me in the Hall of Fame? I don't get it. Ah, come on, don't have that crap. You got a lot of stuff going on. Actually, you um, were in the inaugural class of the Wrestling Observer Hall of Fame in 1996. Yeah. You didn't tell me. I'm telling you right now. Inaugural class. 14 years later. Yeah, 14 years later. <laughs> I, I blame Dave for not telling you huh? in 1996. That's Dave's fault. 